regresé con otro video. Es tu favorita, morenita. Regresé con otro video. I know I'm always excited when I hop on here, but really, for real, for real, de verdad, de verdad, I'm really excited today. For today's video, I am so excited. I am so proud of myself. I am still in disbelief of myself. I don't know if I should even tell y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all because yeah, my family. Uh, your girl will be in stores with Revlon as well. Wonder Woman, boop. Yep, tu favorita morenita is gonna be in stores. I'm gonna be in tiendas. You're gonna be able to walk down the aisles of any of your drugstores and I'm gonna be there, me. I cannot believe it. I shot this uh, I shot this campaign last year and I'm so excited to be able to recreate this look for you guys. If you guys don't anything about me, I am not like gonna be like the transformations here and there. I do what I do best, which is doing what I do best, which is staying in my lane. I just stay in my lane and I love makeup. I enjoy everything it brings, but I also love to be able to bring looks that everyone can try and won't be intimidated by. And that's why I'm so hyped for today's look because it is so easy to achieve. You don't have to do the most with a few of these Revlon products, baby. For Halloween, I guess in quarantine on a Zoom call, you're gonna be the most extra Wonder Woman. It's gonna look so simple. Hair, boom, face, boom. Okay, we are gonna be snatched to the God. I cannot believe that your girl, this photo will be in stores. You're gonna be able to see me, me. I wouldn't have been able to get this far, you guys, honestly, if it wasn't for my Muse Familia. If it wasn't for you guys supporting your girl, if you guys have been here from day one for my iPhone video, which is my first video on my YouTube channel, you guys could go and check that out because I still leave it there just so people can see that this did not happen overnight. And thank you so much, Revlon, for partnering up with me for today's video and also by having me be one of your ambassadors for the second year around. It has been such an amazing journey. I love you guys, I love the team. And thank you because that shoot was beyond me. Um, funny story is, where I shot for the campaign is where my last job was. So I used to work across the street and I actually, as an executive assistant, would put people in that hotel where then I was put to be able to then take the shoot. So I was just like, you never know y'all, you never know, look at God. Um, but today's video is extremely special for me because it just, it's the first time I'm gonna be able to see myself in stores and it wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for my Muse Familia, you guys, and of course, Revlon. So, let's get started. If you guys are excited to see how I achieved this look, uh, hello, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, y vamos a comenzar. So I already prepped and primed my skin, so I'm just gonna go and jump right into my foundation application, which is my Revlon Color Stay Foundation in the color 600, which is cinnamon. We've used her in the past, and I'm just gonna take my Revlon brush. Can we just get into this brush? I love, love, love this application. And I'm just gonna work it and buff it into the skin. Next, I'm gonna go in and contour using another foundation. This color I'm gonna go in is the Color Stay Foundation in the color Java. So I'm gonna take a little bit like this. And I'm just going to kind of like carve out my face a little bit for now. So I'm just gonna buff out, I buffed out that concealer. It's gonna give me a softness. I don't want a harsh contour. It's gonna go in and just kinda like buff out my nose. We are going to contour our nose a little bit more with some pop art fun. Buff that out. Oh, I almost did like that. I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer and I'm gonna take the Revlon Color Stay Concealer and this one is in Color Café. And we're just gonna buff that out with a soft brush. See, it just kind of gave me like a soft little pick me up. We're gonna go in and add some blush. I'm gonna go in with the Revlon Berry Berry and this is one of their new shade in 033. Cause once we add the pop art, you're gonna be like, oh, I'm like girl, yes. You see? And again, this is for Halloween. So is there really a wrong way to do 
anything on Halloween. I mean, we're not gonna do this, but <laughs> we're just gonna go back in and just buff it into the skin. How gorgeous is that? And I'm just gonna drag it up. I'm really focusing on the base right now because the rest is just the crown and some pop art highlights and you're not gonna believe it, we'll be done. I'm gonna set my face with the Revlon blurring powder and I'm just gonna highlight my under my eyes and my T-zone. If you guys need anything in regards to brightening your under eye and giving you that really face tuned feel, it's this baby right here. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Setting Powder. This has a micro refined powder that's going to reduce shine and it's going to give you the illusion of perfect skin. Woo! Mira, gorgeous. So I'm going to go in and outline the crown on my head. That's gonna be step two and it's very simple. I'm just gonna take a brown pencil. This is my, <laughs> I'm gonna just get real creative. I'm gonna take the Revlon Colorstay Micro Hyper Precision Gel Eyeliner and I'm just gonna Okay guys, so I was just pretty much playing with my liner first, just to kind of like mark it. It's kind of like a rough, rough line, some sort. So I did a small line first and I used it with a very light pencil because I don't want to go in with what, what I'm gonna go in next with this, which is Revlon Cream Gel Color Stay Gel Pencil in 801 Caviar. It's gonna help me create more of a precise line for my crown. All right, guys, so I just went in with my Revlon Color State Cream Gel in the color Caviar 801. And we just did like a rough draft of a line, but we're gonna go back in and clean it up un poquito. Um, again, it's Halloween. You don't have to feel like you're overwhelmed. Just have fun, okay? If I, I was definitely the girl who never knew how to sh draw straight lines, so this is actually extremely hilarious that I'm doing this right now because, again, I never knew how to draw within the lines or do straight lines, but here we are trying to figure out how to do a crown on our forehead. Uh, uh, okay, and I don't think it looks bad so far. Let's keep going. Next, we're gonna fill in our crown with the Revlon Color Stay Endless Glow, and we're just gonna fill in the blank space, and that's gonna be your crown. and I'm just patting it down to avoid any streaking. But this baby dries really nicely. Look at that pigment. Oh. Again, if I can do this, so can you guys. I'm gonna go on top of my crown and I'm just gonna fill in some of the areas that you might see a little bit of like, she's missing a little some sun. Hold on, what's that? I'm just gonna pat pat and we're just gonna Fill in on top. Te molesta mi brillo for real now. Add a little bit more of a shine. I'm gonna go in with the Revlon Color Stay Looks Book Palette. Palette I'm using is Mavericks. We're gonna take this gold right here just to kind of like highlight a few of the points. I would like to be made, you know? Look at that. That forehead is shining. Next, we're gonna move on to our eyes. I'm gonna go in with the Color Stay Cream Eyeshadow in the color Honey, and I'm gonna apply this baby all over my eyelid. actually go outside like this it looks so pretty I'm gonna go back in and dip my pot first of all what is going on with my brush why is it so dirty? 
do some tapping motions. And you can go in and use the applicator that came in with your cream shadow in Honey. You literally just pop this baby out and then you just apply it. We're gonna go in and clean up in a few. Do not worry about all that. We're just gonna just make sure that the application is put on. Next, I'm gonna create a winged eyeliner. I'm gonna go back in with the Revlon Cream Gel Eyeliner and this is in the color Caviar. So I'm literally just creating a base for my liner. So just use this as a base, but we are gonna go back in with the liquid liner to really intensify our cat eye. I'm just gonna go back in with my Revlon Color Stay Skinny liquid liner, and I'm just gonna fill in the lines. Look at how intense that got. Okay, we're just gonna. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Revlon Color Stay Cream Eyeshadow in the color Vanilla to really intensify my bottom waterline. It's gonna really make this look more like pop art. You see, it just kind of gives you a nice little base for your, to make your eyes just look a little bit larger. And I'm just going to draw the inner corners of my waterline. You see, it just kind of like intensifies it. Okay. I'm gonna go back in. And I'm just going to line right under. And I'm just going to buff that out. I'm just gonna right here. And I'm just gonna make it stop right there as opposed to dragging it all the way out. And it's nothing concealer can never fix, so don't stress yourselves out. Just always go back in with some concealer and you're good to go. Ooh, okay. So for my brows, as you can see that they're a little, you know, light, we're just gonna fill them in and you kinda don't wanna be scared. Yep. The darker, the better. And again, there's nothing concealer can't fix. So don't stress yourselves out. Okay. Yep. I'm gonna go back in with cafe and I'm just going to clean it up. You guys, these brows turned out pretty high. I feel like I should be in a comic book. I'm gonna go back in with my Revlon Color Stay Skinny Liquid Eyeliner, and we're gonna create some expressions on our face. There's no right or wrong to this, so don't be intimidated. Just go a little, you know, ham. <laughs> Ooh, I love this liner. It's literally making it so easy for me to be able to create some expressions on my face. I'm gonna contour my nose. I'm gonna go back in with my Q-tip and some makeup remover. And we're just gonna like clean up certain lines. I'm 
I'm gonna go back in with my Revlon Color Stay Cream Eyeshadow in the color Vanilla with my little paintbrush, and we're just gonna create some little accents. You guys, I think that's as good as it's gonna get for me. Again, I'm not an artist. I like her, I like what she's giving. You could probably do more expressions if you feel like it, but I'm gonna stick to what I know. And so far I feel very accomplished. <laughs> I'm gonna go in and top it off with some lashes, but I'm gonna, before that, I'm gonna pop on my lipstick. All right, I'm gonna go in with my Revlon Matte Red Rules the World in 051. I'm gonna add a little bit more of that very berry blush. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm gonna create a little bit of liner right here. I actually even remembered, hold on, let me show these lashes are. I'm gonna go in with the Revlon So Fierce Mascara for my bottom lashes. This look was so much fun. If you guys are looking for a Halloween tutorial that is not gonna break the bank, makes you feel fierce, makes you feel powerful, uh, hello. I hope this tutorial was it for you guys. I try to make it as simple as possible because you guys know that I just keep it cute, I keep it simple. If I could do it, what do I always say? If I could do it, you can do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Shout out to Revlon for partnering with your girl. And again, you guys, I hope you guys get to see this in stores because oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, I love you guys, and you make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hello, what do I always say? Lo veo en mi próximo video. Adios. Mwah. Bye.